So what type of homemaker are you? Let's find out together. Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Victoria and this is Time and Tenderness. So I say here all the time that I believe anybody can be a homemaker. Even if you have a job, you work outside of the home, you do have kids or you don't have kids, if you have a place to rest your head at night, I believe that you should be able to make that living space your home and make it feel very homely because homemaking is about intention. Anybody can cook and clean. I think everybody should be able to know how to cook and clean, but that isn't homemaking. Homemaking is the action of having the intention forefront in your mind to make things feel comforting, cozy, and relaxing. So that being said, if you have spent any amount of time online, you might have been bombarded with only one type of homemaker. And I know a couple other creators have touched on this topic before, either with their blog posts or fellow YouTubers have also made videos, but I also wanted to talk about it here. And I want to tell you that there are so many different types of homemakers out there. So let's talk together today to learn about which type of homemaker you might be. Let's first start off by asking ourselves a few questions. Question number one, what are my priorities in life? Question number two, do I have an idea of what my personal and home style looks like? Question number three, what is my favorite hobby? And question number four, what does my day-to-day -day schedule look like? So let's hop into it. The first type of homemaker that I wanna to touch on is the type of homemaker that I think everybody sees the most of when they look at the homemaking hashtag online. And I myself am a part of this, I feel like, umbrella little niche of homemaking and that is the cottage homemaker now being a cottage homemaker is not the only way to be a homemaker there are many other styles and aesthetics within the homemaking community and that is why i'm making this video today so many people might not feel a connection or attracted to the cottage homemaker style and that is oh Okay, there are so many different styles out there. The cottage homemaker is somebody who might prioritize home cooked from scratch meals with either food from their own garden or locally sourced food. They might even be considered a little crunchy. Her home and personal style definitely aligns more with the cottage core style or farmhouse style. Some of her hobbies might include baking, knitting, or sewing. And she either might have her own flock of chickens or desire to have a flock of chickens one day, or she might have a big garden or very much would like to have a big garden one day. When you think of the cottage homemaker, you think of soft, wildflowers, blowing in the breeze, and linen dresses. Now, when you think homemaking, that is the type of homemaker that probably pops into your mind, but let's go ahead and talk about all the other different types of homemakers there are, and let's see if maybe you might be one of those types of homemakers. The next type of homemaker I wanna talk about is the sporty homemaker. The sporty homemaker prioritizes physicality and athletic ability. She either loves going to the gym and has a regular gym routine or she frequently works out at home. If she has children, she might even already have them enrolled in some organized sports. The sporty homemaker might also be somebody who really enjoys action activities like hiking, skiing, snowboarding, or surfing. Her decor style could range in various different ways. It could be either bohemian or very ultra modern, but she will always definitely have a space for working out and she's always feeling her most comfortable in a nice matching gym set for clothes and she's carrying her favorite water bottle. The next type of homemaker is the luxury homemaker. The luxury homemaker is amazing at entertaining or getting her friends together. Her friends might describe her as a little bit bougie, but she's very well versed in art, literature, and music. She loves going to concerts and she finds dimly lit restaurants to be very romantic. She has multiple little black dresses in her closet with purses that match all of her shoes and she finds that she likes her home to feel very luxurious, almost like a high-end luxury hotel. Do you know somebody who's a bit like that? I know I do. Now the suburban homemaker is always on the go, but in a different way than the sporty homemaker is. She and the sporty homemaker might have a lot in common, minus the physical activity part. 
she might like her kids to be very physically active, but maybe not herself. <laughs> and that is totally okay, I get it. The suburban homemaker definitely loves her neighborhood and community. Her home might be a little bit dated, but the moment you walk in, it is clean, welcoming, and you can just feel the love radiating from the walls. She definitely likes to use conventional products and shop at very popular big box retailers, but she's also not above hiring convenient services so that she can spend more time with her family. And lastly, let's talk about the city homemaker. The city homemaker definitely lives a very fast paced lifestyle. She loves to get out and explore her city and she's definitely a champion of working her local public transit. Although she might not use her personal kitchen that often, she always knows the best restaurants and where to get the best food in the city. Her personal style changes from season to season as the weather changes, but one thing that she will always have in her hand is an iced coffee. So guys, what type of homemaker are you? And are you a combination of all of these homemakers? Let me know in the comments down below. Well guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye.